What's up team? It's your biggest fan. And I am here to share some advice. I'm a full-time cybersecurity software engineer. And whether or not I'm a good one or a bad one is irrelevant. That's what I am. And that's why I'm here in this place right now. I believe that the most useful thing anyone can learn who wants to work in any profession that involves using a computer at any time, like where you have to type a document or you have to write some code or you have to write anything. And we all should write. We all should be writing something every day. Every day we should be reading and we should be writing because that's how we get smarter. And some of you may hear what I'm saying when I say we, but whatever. And I don't mean that in a negative way. Some of you will really understand what I mean when I say we. So take it whatever way you want. But you should be reading every day and you should be writing every day. And in this world, this is the world, this is the age of computing. There is no way to get around this. What Whatever it is that's going on right now, it is not going away. This is the system and the system wants to live. The system wants us to be in places like this, surrounded by all the things that we have with electricity, with the cars, with all this stuff, the system wants it and it's fighting to hang on to it. And we're throwing it all away because we're idiots. We do stupid stuff with our time. We do stupid stuff with the tools that we have at our disposal. We sit around all day watching TV, spreading gossip and negative garbage to one another. Instead of doing what we're supposed to do. You came here to do a thing and this thing wants you to do it. And if you don't do it, it's going to keep making waves because this place is made of feelings, all feelings. And if you feel negative feelings, then you're going to get negative results because that's how this place works. If you feel positive feelings, you get positive results. So in this broadcast, I'm going to share with you what I have come to understand. And I'm sharing it with you now because the entire time that I was learning this over the ages, I needed to make sure that it was the way it is. And it is indeed this way. What you set your mind on, you will get. I started doing this when I was a kid. I didn't even know how magic it was. I was born on the south side of Chicago on 56 and Carpenter. And one of the worst places anybody could be born inside of this system. Because the people there are, were at the time, perfect ever evolving but things were difficult because they lacked the ability to communicate because somewhere along the le along the way they lost personal power they began to believe that somehow they didn't have agency over themselves or their lives and so it was and it was so i was born into a place where people walked around i was born into a race where people walked around believing that they could not achieve because they had been educated to believe those things. Their parents were educated to believe those things. And so it was, but I was different. I would watch TV and I would see what was on the TV and I would think that's gonna be me. I'm going in that direction. Maybe not like that back then, but I could go to this place in my head where the outside world wasn't there. And so it was. And as it was, every weekend I would go to my, I don't know when I started, but one day I started going to my brother's house on the weekends because we had the same dad, but two different moms. He lived in a nice neighborhood. I lived in the ghetto. But every weekend, every Friday, I got to go it was it was like going into a fairy tale. I would I would drive out of my neighborhood and go across the city of Chicago 
to a whole new neighborhood where I would live for the weekend, like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And then I would come back to my life. I would go back to West Philadelphia. I did this over and over and over and over again until my imagination expanded. And one day my mom and my two aunts bought plane tickets and flew me, my mom and my brother to Alaska. And there was turmoil because there was change involved, but I never let it bother me. Just kept my mind on, Hey, right. Things are going to be cool. This is what it's going to be. And they were. And this continued on through all of everything. I've been to war three times, went to Afghanistan twice, went to Iraq once. I was in the army. I lived in Korea. I lived in Germany. I've met hundreds, if not thousands of people. I've talked in front of hundreds of people. And you've experienced the same thing that I've experienced. Now, you don't have to go out and do all the stuff I did. I did the stuff I did to make sure that what I knew, I knew. To be sure that I was who I was and that what I was come here to say, I would know how to say in the correct way. And at the beginning of the journey, this is the beginning of the journey. Time going forward can be whatever you want it to be, but you have to set your mind in the right way and you have to turn yourself away from the outside. You have to turn away from the negativity, turn away from the media, turn away from the news, turn into yourself. And place faith, faith and trust in your fellow man. If you take a dollar bill out and you look at the back of it, it says, in God, we trust. This is one of the biggest secrets in the universe. And when I say universe, the only way the universe exists if, is if we say and if we agree. If all of us were to be gone, if all the lights were to be extinguished, and when I say lights, intelligence, the ability to look around and say, this is a thing, to touch it, to feel it, to taste it, to smell it, to, 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 feeling is a secret. You can all, you feel through all of your senses, you feel through your nose, you feel through your mouth, you feel through your eyes. Now science comes along and it breaks this all down and it makes, and it, makes it all complicated and it doesn't have to be, it's all feeling. Everything that you felt has come to be the way it is because you felt it. Simple. That's how simple it is. This place is feeling all of it. You feel bad, you do bad things. Other people do bad things. You feel good, you do good things. Other people do good things. You feel a good situation, people will line up around you to make it work. You feel a bad situation, people will line up around you to tear it down. Now, some people say, oh, well, you know, it can't be good all the time because I did this and I did that. That's because you don't have faith. You have to keep the faith. If you set out to do a thing and it's not your thing to do, this thing, the system, outside of the system, the thing beyond the system, the Bible calls it heaven. Some, I don't, there's all kinds of religions that call this all kinds of things, right? Even the earth has atmosphere. So if we want to take the scientific approach, there is there is a layer of atmosphere around the earth that we exist inside of. And if we go beyond that atmosphere, we are in outer space. What I'm saying is that let's just pretend that you have control over something in outer space that we can't see. And when you take control of it, over it, it moves the system, this earth, this planet, and the people on it to operate in a certain kind of way to supply you with all the things that you need in order to manifest what you need. It's like playing a video game. It's like playing Minecraft. You can dig forever and never get to the bottom. There's always minerals for whatever you need to do. 
You can spend your entire life on Minecraft and never mine all the minerals. They just keep coming. That's how this place works. Generation after generation after generation after generation after generation after generation. That's the secret. And there's even bigger secrets. But they've all been lost. Because when the monads come together, when I say monad, I'm talking about the smallest piece of a system, the most, the smallest discernible piece. When it comes, when they come together, they create an intelligence, an intelligence that is able to achieve a vibrational frequency that brings physical manifestation. And mental manifestation. We can have rocks that put off energy, crystals that put off energy, magnets that attract and repel. We're the same thing. We're all energy, all vibrating, different frequencies all the time, different feelings. That's why we say we feel stuff. I can feel the wall. I can feel the glass. I can feel my skin. I feel sad. I feel sick. I feel up. I feel down. I feel in. I feel out. Feel, feel, feel. Everything is feeling. I feel the sun on my skin. You can feel the food on your tongue. You can feel the taste. Feel the taste. Like that's a concept. Like think of that concept. We call it taste, but taste is an abstraction of saying, I feel this. I feel this energy. I feel this feeling of this thing. And we categorize it so we can communicate it. Everything throughout the ages. And then we write it down in books. We don't even know if us in this generation, we have no idea if any of the books that we have are true or not. We don't know. We don't know. Because science is ever changing, because this place is ever changing. It is not what we believe it is. If we were to all think in a certain kind of way, we would get those results. And I'm about to give you the ultimate proof. Look at the. There's many people in this place that look like me. And we can all honestly say we don't even have to say it. We don't need words for this. When you think about my, what, what you may consider to be my culture based on how I look, what would you think? You think of maybe some sports, maybe some music. Maybe some, what else? I don't know. Now, when you think of, uh, think of my, what's my history? What's my history in this place? Think of everybody else's history in this place. Think of my history in this place or what we've been told. I was born into a place where everybody believed their history was a certain kind of way. And they were all born into the same situation because we we're all there together. So the generation before us, what happened? And the generation before them, what happened? And we all try to draw these timelines and draw these parallels, blah, 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 blah. The television. Is what happened. That's when everything began to change. When we really got into the swing of capitalism, when we could broadcast across the airwaves words just like this to get people to do things. And once you get people doing a thing and you're benefiting from the thing, if you don't think about it, you'll keep doing the thing. And so that's what that's what we've been doing. We've been programming one another to become less and less and less and less. And so when you look at me and think of perhaps the overarching community that some would say I come from or, or the label I would be given, uh, And so I'm trying to say a lot without saying a lot because these things don't need to be said. These words don't need to be said anymore because we're all people. But there's a thing, the system. 
that has to keep the system going. It has to keep the lights on. It has to keep the money flowing. It has to keep the thing going. That system, right, has gotten used to these lies and now it doesn't want to change. But we, as the constituent components of the system, we can change it. And the system, it puts things in front of us so we can't see the truth. So we end up with, let's say, two groups arguing back and forth about how one's going to do this and one's going to do that. Why do we need two groups? What if we had 360 million individual groups of cells who understood unequivocally, unequivocally that there is no way that they can get along in this place and be comfortable without other people. So you should treat everybody you meet wherever they are along the journey as if they were the most important person you know. Because they are, because everybody here and everything here is extremely, extremely, extremely important. As far as the mind goes, you cannot trust people who try to convince you to think in their way. You cannot trust those who will sell you a false god. Who tell you, you must go here and do this and you must go here and do that. And you must adhere to these principles and precedences. All you must adhere to is the natural law. And the natural law is this, wish for and treat all how you want to be treated. And wish for them all the things that you want for yourself all the time in spirit and in attitude. And all we want in this place is feeling. We want to feel a certain kind of way. We label things here. We put labels on everything. You know what feeling you would like to have all the time. You have to grab that feeling. You have to hang on to it. And you have to let all the other emotions, emotions go. And trust in yourself. And trust that you know what decisions to make because you are in tune with yourself and you have to get in tune with yourself. And when you start to do that, you're going to come across tests. I'm a cybersecurity software engineer. And one thing you must do when you make software is test it. So you make some software and you test it. You make some software and you test it. You make some software and you test it. The system programs you then test the programming to reinforce to get better, to understand what to do next. And our reaction is, is how the system is going to respond. The system puts out a cause. We produce an effect. The system says, is this the effect I want it? Yes or no. If it's yes, then it continues to do its thing. If it's no, then it'll change up. But us, we are of the same intelligence. That's why we have choice. That's why we have free will. It's written in all the books, but you have to read between the lines. You can't listen to the false prophets. You choose the feeling. The system brings a feeling down upon you. You can reach out beyond the system because that's what you're connected to always. But if you allow yourself to be shut off, if you don't look for the connection, it can't find you. It's like a Bluetooth device. It's like a, a phone. The phone has to look for the cell tower. The cell tower can't look for all the phones all the time. So the phone looks for the tower. It sends out a signal. The tower gets the signal that says, yes. You are my phone. You belong on my network. And then from there, all of the world's information is opened up to that device. That's how this place works. So as above, as below, so as within, as without. 
the system wants to be the system. When enough of us understand that feeling is the secret, that we must block out the past and the future and be in the present, and to be constantly producing and generating the feeling we want. We cannot go into our minds or go into our emotions or go into our feelings anymore. We have to remain here and now. And that the only way to advance this place is to create more life in abundance. And the only way to do that is through communications and utility to one another. All beings in this place have shown us this. There is no other way. There is a group of people in this place that were taught, that were programmed to be against one another. So they are at the bottom of the barrel. And we must ask ourselves, why is this the case? Why these people all the time? Who are these people? One of the biggest secrets was to convince the world that he didn't exist. The system. The system has convinced you it doesn't exist. You feed a group of people a story and they live out the story because that's how this place goes. And it's not, it's not always as it seems. And that's what's going on in the media right now. There are those in the system who they know they know exactly what I know. They're saying exactly what I'm saying in their own way because there's voices that need to hear it in that way. There's intelligences that need to hear it in that way. There's intelligences that need to hear what I'm saying in my way. But what we're all saying is the same thing, is that we must wake up and realize that we can have any and everything we want in this place if we set our imaginations in the right direction and we're willing to work together and we're willing to communicate and to communicate as openly as we possibly can. But before that, we must set our minds in the right direction and trust that the obstacles will come and we don't have to feel the obstacles. We can feel our way through them by hanging on to the feeling that we want to have because the feeling it's not the feeling we want to have. It's the feeling we are. If we, we know what, if we know what the feeling we want to have is, the exercise of life is producing that feeling all the time. And I believe that if that were the case, well, actually, in fact, I know for sure that it is the case. When you have the feeling and you're able to hang on to it for prolonged periods of time, when you go off to sleep, you feel the feeling and you go into this other place. Or maybe you unplug from this place and you construct like a workshop in the dark because you can't see it. You're in the dream world, but it's there. You're inside of your imagination. You're inside of a universe doing all kinds of things. You're constructing this place from there. So what you take there to the other side of sleep is what you construct. And then you come back and you live in it. In some time travel, astral projection, like those are the extremes. There's movies about it. K-Pax with Kevin Spacey. The system knows, the system shows us a lot of things are hidden in plain sight. You can quite literally go to bed tonight. And if you do it in the right way, you'll wake up in the environment that whatever, wherever you want to be doing, whatever it is you want to do. But you have to believe wholeheartedly and you have to act in that way. Lest you go to bed and wake up a billionaire. In this place, what kind of person do you have to be to be such a thing? So what happens if you wake up a, bi a billionaire in charge of a billion dollar empire that you don't know how to run? What's the outcome going to be? You're going to end up right back where you are. And that's how it works. And that's how most of us do it. 
We watch all this garbage and nonsense and then we carry it with us to bed and we build it and we wake up and coronavirus comes and the volcano blows up and the tsunami goes over the city and all this crazy stuff is going on. We go, oh my God, I wonder why, I wonder why, I wonder why. And then we go off, we get in our box and we go to our other box and we stare at all these people that we don't like and do these things that we don't like. And then we come back and then we watch all this stuff we don't like and we say we want peace and happiness and love and all this stuff. Go to church on Sunday and we pray to false prophets who are telling lies, lies, nothing but lies. You don't need to look outside of yourself. Everything you need is within you. And when I say within you, I mean like within you. The whole universe is within you and it surrounds you all the time in everything. But as it goes, so as above, as below, the earth operates in a certain way. You have a bunch of things that come together called cells that are born into this world somehow. There had to be a first man at some point. There was a first something. So, hey, if we follow science, we evolve from slime or whatever. But here we are. We're able to think. We're able to manipulate the environment. So here we are. This thing that's in a thing that's acting out of accordance with the thing which makes us what? A virus, a disease. We're a dis-ease. We're in dis-ease. We're supposed to be one way, but we're acting another. We're supposed to be angelic, but we're acting like fools. And this is what happens. Some people, they go out in the world and they look around and they run into a bad thing. They go, oh, my man, right? And then they want to come back and they broadcast it and everybody thinks the thing. And then more of it happens. And then more of it happens because that's the way it goes. It's the way it goes. Believe me this, I'm in this place right now. There's people who do not know about any sort of problems. They don't have a clue. Not a clue. They live in these high-rise buildings behind me, some of them. And they go off to their jobs, and they do their thing, and they enjoy it. They like it immensely. It's all they want to do. And the world comes in and gets in their face and wants to feed them all this nonsense and garbage. And then you get caught up in it, you get distracted. You feel like you're too successful. You feel like you're too poor. You feel like you're too rich. You feel like you're too, 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 too. We don't need any of that. We don't need the system. We don't need the black mirror. We've built what we need. We have taken what we say is all of the world's knowledge, all of the all of the scientific discovery of this place up into this point that we know about. We've taken it, we put it inside of this little box and we can find it. And people are looking and they're starting to find it. But the system is the system. So it cracks down. No more free books. No more uh, no more free white papers. No more free information. It's a crackdown going on. We don't even see it. And at the same time, we have a cybersecurity war going on. We don't even see it. A cyber war, cyber warfare, we can't see. It's happening all around us all the time. Because it's turmoil. It's discomfort of all of the collective mind. It's discomfort of the system. The system is trying to figure out what to do. Because we're turning our backs on it. And we're turning our, we're turning towards one another. It is time to turn towards one another and start working together and to communicate. All of us, every single being on this planet and communicate in earnesty. We don't need politicians if we all just go to work and do what it is we like to do. If the police go to work to police and the people go to work to be people, and the criminals go to work to not be criminals or to be better. If, if you're going to be a criminal, you don't have to hurt everybody. There's a way we can do this where we can all have fun and, not, and nobody gets hurt. That's the name. Imagine that's the name of the game. Let's all have fun and nobody gets hurt. But as long as we keep listening to what the system has to say. Some would call it the matrix, and maybe that's what it is. The, the intelligence that's produced, it's like heat. It's like heat that rises up off of a, 
off of a group of a group of people running. It's a, it's a whole nother intelligence that's produced and the intelligence drives the group. So when we say we say followers, right? You're following people. People most follow the intelligence. They follow they follow the system. And then you have some, but they don't. They create in the system. They see the system for what it is and they go, oh, okay, this is the direction I need to go. And they start to move. And here's the thing, right? You cannot move without people. You can go off into the woods and be all by yourself and then you're not inside of this system anymore. So it doesn't matter. Nobody will come mess with you. That's what the system is telling you. Go off into the woods. Nobody's you can right now you can go set up a tent on the streets in the in the city. And the cops won't mess with you. You think they're going to mess with you if you go out into the woods, start living like way out there. But you don't want to do that. You want to be here in the system because there's something you're supposed to do here. So you got to go do it. You got to turn your back on these on on others who don't know you on the TV telling you what you should do, who you should vote for, how you should think, where you should live, how you should act. How you should feel, how you should feel, you should feel the way you want to feel. And if you don't feel the way you want to feel, you must change it. And the system, it will give you obstacles. You have to overcome those obstacles. You have to step over the obstacles. And how do you do that? You know the feeling that you want. And I will tell you this. If you travel too far from now, this is time travel. If you go too far in the past... You will lose the you will lose the feeling of the wish fulfilled. It will begin to dim. The light will begin to dim because you as a being have traveled away from this place. So you're in two places at the same time. Or you could go off to the future and there's many different futures. That's what all the Marvel movies are telling us when we watch these movies. They're all telling us the exact same thing. There's a multiverse and you exist in all of them. But they're not telling you this here in the now you can choose the direction you want to go. That's the secret. So if you visualize a future where you have exactly what you want and you feel the way you want to feel. Then that future can come to pass and any obstacle that comes towards you is nothing more than an obstacle for you to deflect with the powers of your mind and the powers of the feeling, the powers of the now. When something comes to you, you can look to the future. You can look around and you can say, this is what it is. What do I need to do to overcome this thing right here? You say it out loud and the answer will come to you. And you will develop the volition to act and you'll do it. That's called personal power. You develop personal power and then you'll move around that obstacle and you develop confidence. And that confidence will give you more personal power. I'm here to tell you this. You have to do the thing that you came here to do. And it is the thing you know how to do with the least amount of effort. The system will tell you what it is on a repeated basis. That's why I'm recording this video right now. That's why I've recorded up to this point. Because the system It wants it. It's like going to the gym. It's like reading a book. It's like going to class. It's like falling in love, finding a new friend. You worry about things changing, but you want them to change because you want to feel the feeling of success. And the feeling of success is the pursuit of a clear and worthy idea. So the system knows what it wants, but it's resistant. We have to be one with the system because we are the system. We cannot listen to the intelligence produced from the system. We must communicate with one another. Can you imagine what it would be like if all the cells in your body were worried about what was going on next door?
but they aren't. All the cells in your body are worried about what's going on next to them, perhaps. They communicate with one another. That's all, that's all that matters. Nothing else matters to these cells but communications of being utility in this huge system that they exist in. And they do it all for us. And we do it all for them. We don't stump our toes because it hurts. They'll tell us, hey, you hurt us. We live together. This collective intelligence we produce, we live together. And perhaps it gives way to things like me who come here to say these things in this kind of way. We can make this thing better if we stop listening to its negative thoughts. If we stop watching its negative thoughts, the thoughts of our own creation, we have to let them go. Focus wholeheartedly on what you want in this place. Don't focus on what the TV tells you you should want because the TV does not know. The system, right? It's the subconscious. It produces what we believe, what we think, what we have faith in. And that's why we have to turn our backs on institutions as well. We have to turn inward. We have to turn to ourselves, develop personal power and understand that we're each kings of our own kingdom. Some 14 trillion odd cells, if not more. Maybe, maybe as many as 100 trillion. At least 100 trillion atoms all working together to animate this. So we say... first principle of it is it's the feeling feel who you are and be that and work with your fellow man to create that and do not spend your time watching others do that well no do watch your fellow man achieve greatness but don't be told by others that greatness is not inside yourself that there is something that you need to buy or something you need to do is very, very, very simple. If you believe it up here and you have the guts to say it out loud, the system will deliver it to you because it's obligated to. It's like a genie in a bottle. It's like the devil. If you tell it what you want, it's obligated to do it. Tell it what you want. It will do it. It will present obstacles. And then you have to tell it what you want again. This obstacle is not for me. You hold on to the feeling. If you if you can't be swayed in any way, eventually the system will stop trying. It'll give up. It'll give up. It wants to make you overly happy, but you just in that feeling. And you know what feelings are. So you say, yeah, I'm going to go to all the way to the happy place. It goes, I got you. Then something will happen. But you stay in the happy place. He goes, what? Let me try this again. What? Didn't get him down, huh? Hmm. Leave him alone. And now you're just living. Then something will come along. And you don't change. Huh. You're the same all the time. Now there's a road you could go all the way. But for now, you just change your thoughts. And then think about how you would like to be treated. Whatever being in this place that you were. And think about communication and how energy and feeling transfers and moves throughout this place. And energy is just another name for feeling. Feeling moves all throughout this place through all things all the time. And there are some things that are meant for us and there are some things that are not. There is a book that tells us this. They talk about this thing that we were to eat. Or we're not to eat, I suppose. 
I don't know. I believe that that thing would probably the only thing we were supposed to eat. But this isn't, this isn't the story I'm here to tell. There's no need to go way back when. For now, if you tell yourself to do a thing, make a decision and do it. But only if you believe it adds to your personal power, your personal greatness. And understand this, you can't have power over others in this place. It does not last. No one has ever been in power over people. For a very long time, if they attempted to control those people, it does not work. And you can't control others because this place isn't like that. You have to control yourself. You have to control your own mind. That's how this place works. There is no other way. There is no other way. I'm here to tell you I'm proof. Until next time, team. I'm your biggest fan.